All right, sir, thank you. It's not going to come as a shock. <laughs> We're all addicted to our phones. A recent research shows that addiction, like anything else, can take a toll on our health, both physically and mentally. Overusing our phones is associated with anxiety, depression, neurological disorders in both children and adults. Here to help us kind of break out of that spiral is Jessica Holt with the U.S. Cellular. I know it's tough to do. This is your job, right, to, to connect us, but it would be nice to be able to unplug for at least 24 hours, huh? Yes, it's, yeah. it's day of unplugging. It's not throw your phone away day. Right. It's just taking a break and resetting that relationship with technology. And so what we're finding too with technology is it's not that we're on the phone all the time checking things out. It's that we're checking out what other people are doing and we're comparing our lives to that. And that's causing some of the problem, huh? Yeah, mindless scrolling, uh, whether that is social media or looking at uh, shopping on, online, just it can really take time out of your day. And I know even companies, Employers are paying close attention to this too. What are they doing? Yeah, so just taking a break, there's things that you can do on your phone. You might say, hey, well, I have a parent that is ill or my kids are in school and I need to be able to get up with them if need be. Uh -huh. You can have do not disturb on your phone. That allows you to have those important phone calls from certain people to come in while keeping other things like social media notifications off your phone. It's interesting that the tech is helping you become tech, uh, tech free. Yes. In some cases, right? Yeah. And so what else can we do to just kind of go, oh. Take a break. Out of sight, out of mind really is a thing. With that do not disturb, like mm -hmm. I said, you're not going to get notifications on your phone to distract you. And then two hours later, hey, you're watching YouTube on some pointless video about cats. Um, going outside, getting the fresh air that you need, maybe picking up a new hobby, going, yeah. Yeah, all of that very good. But again, go, going full circle, especially with parents and their children, seeing, you know what, I'm, I'm watching TikTok, I'm looking at Instagram, I'm seeing all these filtered activities that other people are doing. Why is my, ni uh, my life not adding up to this, right? <coughs> right, like I said, just, just the do not disturb, just not being able to have that pop up on your screen so you can focus on what you need to, whether that is work, whether that is quality family time with your friends, catching up with the people that matter most. And unfortunately, it's easier said than done. So we have to mentally say, I'm actually going to do this and stick to it. Yeah, it was intimidating at first, but with that do not disturb, you can actually set times. So uh -huh. you don't even realize like, oh, from, you know, five o'clock in the evening until seven o'clock the next morning, it automatically turns on. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, let me go and turn that on. And right. then you see all these notifications and get distracted. For me, not so hard because I can be accused of having a little ADHD, mm -hmm. but I'm also accused of being a little Guilty. forgetful, yeah. right? So I yeah. go, oh, where's the phone? I forgot to turn it on. But here, here's a pity party for you. Look at my inbox. How many? Do you want me to say? Yeah, go ahead. 4,200. I know. It's like, ah. <laughs> We've got a problem. And to be able to turn off for 24 hours and to come back and go, it went from 4,200 to 5,300. I'm like not judging. Thing. Mine looks like that, too. Yeah, but I look at it, I'm like, yeah, I'll get to it later. Yeah. And I'm like, not doing it. Yeah. And nothing wrong with getting to it later eventually, exactly. right? Yep. Jessica, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate here. it.